The National Aeronautics and Space Administration was established in 1958 as a non-military branch of the United States government that would focus on advancing technology related to airplanes and space. Eventually, this would lead to the space race in the late 1960s that would put a man on the moon. But there were many steps and missions involved with getting to the moon. One such mission is Apollo 1, intended to put humans into low Earth orbit to test the equipment and effects on the human body. However, tragedy struck Launch Complex 34 in Cape Canaveral on January 27, 1967, and three American astronauts lost their lives. Virgil I. Grissom, Edward H. White, and Roger B. Chaffee climbed into the cone-shaped command module for a pre-flight test. An electrical fire sparked inside the command module, and three men were unable to escape. As a result, command modules were completely redesigned. In October of 1968, Apollo 7 launched from Complex 34, and the site was decommissioned a few months later. Only seven launches were recorded at Complex 34, but NASA employees and visitors claim there's a lot of activity still taking place. Today, the site is little more than an expanse of concrete with a large support tower, a hole gaping in the center. The decommissioned sites are open to the public and tours are offered at certain times and days. Tour guides and visitors report feeling sad and afraid while walking through this portion of the complex. Screams have been heard multiple times. At one point, NASA considered closing the site due to the number of reports being made, but the complex remains open. In many sites rumored to be haunted, photos can catch evidence of the supernatural. I couldn't find any photos of Launch Complex 34 at night, which makes me think it's inaccessible after dusk, and could explain why there aren't many photos of orbs or lights or anomalies. Given the last moments of these three astronauts' lives were so horrific and tragic, it wouldn't be surprising for imprints to be left behind. I would recommend a visit to Cape Canaveral, whether looking for haunted sites or not. American history was made many times over during this era. Whether you believe the effort was worth it, the advancements made by these people and this organization have had long-lasting effects, and they deserve an amount of reverence.